If you haven't done so yet, make sure you pause the video and try this question on your own first before listening on. In order to calculate the work done by the truck in pulling this car one kilometer, we need to consider the formula that we use in physics to calculate work. And it turns out that that formula is work is equal to the dot product between the force vector and a displacement vector. Now we know from the dot product that we can rewrite that dot product as the magnitude of the force multiplied by the magnitude of the displacement and then multiplied by the cosine of the angle between the force and the displacement. So if we consider this car being pulled along the road and imagine it to be moving to the right in this picture, we could project a displacement vector pointing to the right and we can label that vector uppercase D. And then we also have a force vector and the question notes that this force, which is present by the tension that's existing in the chain, is making an angle of 30 degrees with the road. But the displacement vector is parallel to the road, so that means that the force vector can be drawn at a 30 degree angle to the displacement vector. And that means that when we plug in for theta, we will simply use 30 degrees. So we can now plug in the magnitude of the force, which was stated to be 1500 newtons, We'll multiply that by the magnitude of the displacement, which is one kilometer. Now that's a non-standard unit in physics, so we're gonna actually multiply that by 10 to the three in order to convert it into the standard unit of meters. And then once again, theta will be 30 degrees. So we know that if we multiply these values right here, we're going to get 1.5 times 10 to the power of six. And then the unit would be newton meters. Now the cosine of 30 degrees of course is radical 3 over 2. And we can multiply that radical 3 over 2 by 1.5. So if we did that over here on the side, we could put this over 1. We can actually divide 1.5 by 2, which of course is 0.75 radical 3, or if we prefer we can write 3 fourths radical 3. So one way of expressing this answer would be 3 fourths radical 3 times 10 to the power of 6 newton meters or if you prefer you can pick up your calculator and punch that all in and you would get roughly 1.3 times 10 to the power of 6 newton meters and so we can use this as our correct answer or this right here and finally also note that a newton meter is equivalent to a joule and so if you're typing this into an online homework system, the unit might be joules, but that's equivalent to a newton meter.